গতকাল কলকাতার ফোর্ট উইলিয়ামে বিজয় দিবস পালন অনুষ্ঠান উনিশশো একাত্তর সালের ষোলোই ডিসেম্বর দিনটিতে ভারতীয় সেনা ও বাংলাদেশের মুক্তিযোদ্ধা বাহিনীর কাছে আত্মসমর্পণ করেছিল পাকিস্তান সেনা বাংলাদেশের মাটিতে তিরানব্বই হাজার সেনার পাকিস্তান সেনার আত্মসমর্পণ ও বাংলাদেশের স্বাধীনতার এই বিশেষ দিনটিকে বিজয় দিবস হিসেবে পালন করা হয় গতকাল কলকাতার ফোর্ট উইলিয়ামে এই বিজয় দিবস পালন অনুষ্ঠানের দ্বিতীয় দিনে সম্মিলিত বাহিনীর প্রতি শ্রদ্ধা জ্ঞাপন অনুষ্ঠান পালন করা হয় গতকাল কলকাতার ফোর্ট উইলিয়ামে এই বিজয় দিবস পালন অনুষ্ঠানের দ্বিতীয় দিনে সম্মিলিত বাহিনীর প্রতি শ্রদ্ধা জ্ঞাপন অনুষ্ঠান পালন করা হয় বর্তমান ও প্রাক্তন সেনা আধিকারিক থেকে কলকাতার পুলিশ কমিশনার একে একে শহীদ বেদিতে পুষ্পস্তবক অর্পণ করেন এই অনুষ্ঠানে বাংলাদেশের একত্রিশ জন মুক্তিযোদ্ধা ও তাদের পরিবার অংশগ্রহণ করেন পরে প্রধান অতিথি রানা প্রতাপ কলিতা বলেন এই বিজয় দিবস পালনের মধ্য দিয়ে ভারত বাংলাদেশের দ্বিপাক্ষিক সম্পর্ক আরও মজবুত হয়েছে ভাতৃত্বের বন্ধনকে মজবুত করছে এই বিজয় দিবস পালন অতি গুরুত্বপূর্ণভাবে কলকাতা থেকে সংকল্পদের রিপোর্ট এক্স টিভি বাংলা and the Indian Army, the sacrifice and valor of all those radiant martyrs have not only fulfilled the dreams and aspirations of millions of, millions of people by creating a new nation, but has also has secured an epic military victory that echoes throughout the history. I extend a heartfelt thanks to our distinguished guests from Bangladesh and as also our war veterans whose presence has added significant meaning to this year's celebration. On this momentous occasion, I also extend warm greetings and felicitations to all ranks, civilians and families of Eastern Command. A special acknowledgement goes to all our friends from the media fraternity for your valuable contribu uh, contributions during 71 war as also all through the last 52 years. You all are familiar and aware of how the war started on 3rd December of 1971. Thereafter, the Indian Armed Forces, in a synergized manner, heavily supported by the Mukti Juddhas, brought the battle to an end within 14 days, which led to surrender of more than 93,000 Pakistani soldiers. This victory in battle not only created a new nation in Bangladesh, it changed the geopolitics of South Asia. Eastern Command, as you are aware, was at the forefront of 1971 war. Hence, this universe occupies a special place of pride in the history of the command. This year, we have the privilege of hosting 71 members of Bangladesh delegation, comprising of Mukti Juddhas, serving officers, and their families. The presence of 30 distinguished Mukti Juddhas is special mention, as it has added more value to the celebrations and has, it, has made it more significant for us. No war, no wars are same, or no conflict can be. No conflicts can be termed as, you know, similar. Everything has its own challenges, own sort of parameters or rules and conditions are there which are need to be followed. So at that point of time in 1971, it was in our interest to finish off the war at the earliest. Uh, because of certain other developments which were taking place in the, uh, in the geopolitical domain. And it also, the agony of going through the process of war right from uh, 19, uh, March 1971, when uh, there was a crackdown on the Bangladesh population and there was huge influx of uh, refugees to our country. So that prolonged the sufferings of the people. So there was a definite need to put an end to the battle at the earliest. And also that was facilitated by the 
support that the Indian Armed Forces got from the Mukti Juddhai because they launched those guerrilla warfare because of which the mix of both the offensive by the Indian Armed Forces and the guerrilla warfare by the Mukti Juddhai made life difficult for the Pakistani soldiers to survive. They were cut off at different places. So that is where and the synergized application of uh, Air Force, Navy, Naval Docket, the Tangle airdrop which you saw. So Dhaka was surrounded at the earliest. So that's how we are able to achieve a very, very decisive victory. What's happening in Russia and Ukraine, probably Israel and Hamas and the other conflicts which we have seen has put a different dimension and different uh, set of uh, conditions. We cannot equate both of them together. However, because of the certain difficulties which we have, any future conflict may or may not be long or short, that we cannot predict. But uh, it would be in our interest to limit the future conflict to a shorter duration. Sir, if you allow us now... A lot of legacy issues, you know, that uh, thing between two communities, uh, that's going to take some time. It's very difficult to put a time limit to that. Um,